Hey guys, today I'm going to quickly show you my bounce ball game. Uh, this is it. You can see it's on a narrow game field, stand, base, GPU, and I've got an RT camera there, I'll show you that later. But everything is check command, so we can I'll whip straight into it. I want to make this as quick as possible. I do not want to be here all day. This is here. So basically, this is level one of pack number one. Um, you can see it tells you there's a ball limit. That should say ball limit, really, but it says balls because ball limit wouldn't fit. So it tells you how many balls you've got, how many targets are on the level, the level you're on, how many attempts you've had at level, power, and I've got some hints and some credits down the bottom. Mouse two will take the turret side to side, depending on which way it is leaning. E will fire the the ball from the cannon. You can't fairy tap it, you have to sort of hold it a little bit. You collect all the targets, it'll go to the next level. Pretty simple. It's about as simple as you're going to get for explaining the game, or any game. It's a really basic idea. And you just run around and collect all the targets. Well, try to, anyway. Uh, I can guarantee that every level I've in it is possible. Um, some will just take a really long time and become very frustrating. But uh, that's how it gets with most games, so I had to make it hard. And I had some fun making it hard, I can tell you that. Well, that's enough of the levels. I'll show you how you can make your own levels. This is where the RT camera comes in place, and my level maker utility. As you can see, the RT camera is projected onto a hologram that is in front of the buttons and has some transparency to it. So, we'll just bring the level maker up from underneath. Meet Mr. Hologram. And change model right through a whole list. Move it around. Rotate. move it a half move which is handy for when you rotate it and getting it back in line with the others so you can get a perfect join. I can place props and it'll be green. I can declare a level that I want to make. So say I want to make level six up with level six then. Nice handy little check command there. Now, this is what I mean when it comes down to lining it up. You can move with that half that you need, and you can fill in the gaps. So, line up nice and pretty. Now, let's say I accidentally put that prop there I didn't want. I can hit the reset button and it will undo it. But you cannot undo more than one. So, if I go spam, spam, I can't remove both. I can only undo one. A little bit of a downside there, but not often you're going to want to remove two unless you realize you've really screwed up. Then you probably should redo the whole level anyway. So I am not going to fix that because that is how I want it. Um, let's say I'm done making the level now, so I can type print in chat after I prefix it with the command for. Oh my god, I can't spell. And it will print out what appears to be a load of confusing strings. But it's not all that confusing because that's how it was made. It tells me prop uh, level 6, prop 3, prop 2. Um, it appears to have screwed up due to excessive undo button spamming. I may have to look into that, that could be a bug. I hope not. Um, yeah, you can copy that. And it'll get put straight into everything that comes from there and will go directly into the... It's just copy and paste from there on in. Goes into the level expression. And you'll see I've got these here. Level 1 counts how many pops are in the level. 
level one, prop one. And it goes along a huge long string. We all the way along. And it goes to the next level, and the next level, and the next level, and the next one. And you can see how this was a thousand and ten lines was. Because every single one of these bits here that's just one line now used to be five until we encoded it and stored it as the string, which was yeah, a lot better. Trust me. Used to nearly crash the server. Used to. But um I've put a lot of time into it. I can't stress I uh, I really can't. I have to say a big huge thank you to Omicron. He has put so much time and effort into this with me. He has taught me phenomenal amount of code. It's unbelievable the amount of stuff I've learnt making this and I hope you guys enjoy it playing it as much as I did making it. So that'll be it. See ya.